again. My name is Gabe Zona. This is the 23rd of January, 2019. Fox News, written by Travis Fedchum, that's F-E-D-S-C-H-U-M. Great news. Nurse arrested in rape of woman in vegetative state who gave birth at care facility. A licensed practical nurse who was supposed to care for a woman in a vegetative state at the long-term Arizona nursing facility was arrested after she gave birth to a baby last month, officials announced Wednesday. Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams said at a news conference that 36-year-old Nathan Sutherland was arrested and will be charged with one count of sexual assault and one count of vulnerable adult abuse for the incident at the Hacienda Healthcare Facility in Phoenix. We have worked virtually nonstop every day, every night to resolve this case, Williams told reporters, adding that the crime was beyond reproach. Sutherland evoked his Fifth Amendment rights after his arrest and did not give an interview to authorities regarding the case, according to police. The chief said that officers use good old-fashioned police work in addition to DNA tests on the baby to find a match and made the arrest. Sutherland had worked at the facility since 2011, officials added. We owe this arrest for the victim. We owe this arrest for the newest member of our community, that innocent baby, Williams said. The 29-year-old victim has been incapacitated since the age of three and gave birth to a boy at the facility on December 29th. Employees at the time said they had no idea she was pregnant. Court records say her last known physical was in April. We may not know how many times this occurred, Phoenix Police spokesman Timothy Thompson told reporters. Investigators had obtained a court order to collect DNA from Sutherland which was compared to DNA from the baby boy. Thompson added that when the assault took place, Sutherland was responsible for the woman. This was an employee rather than a stranger who made his way into the facility, he said. The baby boy is doing well, according to Thompson, who added that it's the community's job to protect the child. We can't choose how we come into this world, he told reporters. As her guardian, the woman's mother was required to submit an annual report to the court that included results of a medical exam. The woman's parents on Tuesday, through their attorney, disputed characterizations that their daughter is comatose, according to the Associated Press. They described her as being intellectually disabled because of seizures in early childhood. While she doesn't speak, she has some mobility in her limbs, head and neck. She also responds to sound and can make facial gestures. Phoenix Mayor Thilda Williams said that officers spent endless hours investigating the hideous crime. I know our officers took this crime to heart, she said. This is a facility you should be safe in, and someone wasn't. The arrest comes a day after the official disclosed that two doctors at Hacienda Healthcare in Arizona are no longer at the facility. One of the doctors resigned while the other has been suspended, a spokesperson for the facility told Fox News in a statement Tuesday. Neither doctor has been identified, but both cared for the 29-year-old woman. The two physicians who are responsible for the care of the sexual assault victim are no longer providing medical service to Hacienda patients. One has resigned, the other one has been suspended, the spokesperson told Fox News. The latest development also comes after the facility CEO, Bill Timmons, resigned early in January following the incident. The facility received a below average health inspection rating in 217, according to the Medicare website. Well, the good news is they got him. You have to sort of wonder why he stuck around. I mean, he had to know that once they take his DNA, he's going to be identified as being the sperm donor who in turn raped the woman in the state that she was in. If he gets sent to a federal prison, they're not going to look upon him favorably. I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. 
you let me know what you think. Once again, the good news, they got them. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.